Hi, Music Campers. Um, Terrace, Lindsay, David, and Jesse here to share some news uh, for you from the board. Uh, the board has been, you know, working all the way through the winter. We've been trying to find as many facts about, you know, our circumstances, about how the pandemic would impact camp. We're trying to understand the risks that are associated with the camp, and we've come to a conclusion that we're not going to have an in-person camp this summer. I know that our primary concern was for the safety of our campers. Um, we couldn't rationalize having an in-person camp when the more vulnerable members of our community wouldn't be able to attend, and when running an in-person program could still pose a risk to those who could attend. Uh, you know, we care about every person who's part of our PMC family, and we just don't feel right about proceeding. Um, I'm wondering if you can summarize some of the other factors. That's a good point, uh, Lindsay. Um, you know, you know, and in spite, you know, of the province uh, making a statement on Sunday that camps can go ahead, the fact is we know that there will be many precautions uh, in place uh, that we would have to observe. So we know that there would be a requirement for cohorting. So that would mean uh, being with a, a single group of people, you know, together for the period of camp. There'd have to be physical distancing between cohorts, you know, two meters between cohort, people of different cohorts, at least one meter probably between members of the same cohort. There'd be requirement for masks indoors, perhaps even masks outdoors if in close proximity um you know there's a prohibition or a restriction anyway on singing on instrumental music you can imagine concert band with uh, just the uh, percussion and strings not particularly appealing that's a really good point terrace the board believes all of these restrictions would make it really difficult to make an in-person camp feel like what PMC normally feels like. It wouldn't feel like music camp, and that was a big part of our decision. Now, large groups would not be able to run with all the social distancing restrictions. Uh, you wouldn't be able to choose the workshops you would want to go to. You have to make compromises to work within your cohort, and that wouldn't really work for the nature of how we run camp. And evening programmings would have to radically change and any kind of bonus activities that would happen in cabins or other places would not be able to run. Right. Um, and a couple of other points, Jesse, right? Um, you know, it rains when we're at camp, right? And under those conditions, uh, we'd have to stick with our cohorts and be indoors, perhaps in our cabins. Um, and the other, and this is less well understood, but uh, there may be other safety precautions that we would have to observe, like uh, having uh, campers get a COVID test before camp, perhaps isolate for a period of time before camp. We couldn't have trips into town during camp, uh, probably couldn't have visitors come halfway through camp. And uh, there's a chance that, you know, school kids would have to quarantine at home for a few days before being able to go back to school. So there's, you know, just too many factors, too many risks, too many concerns really to, to do this safely. You know, all, with all that being said, there are some positives though. Uh, last year's Planet Music Camp was really fun. We've all had a lot more experience with online activities through the past year. So we are very confident that we can build off of last year's success and come up with another really great virtual camp this year. Hey, my name is David, and I'm one of the deans for our second year of virtual camp. Virtual camp is a challenge, and we have been working on a theme this year. It's, the theme is faith, hope, and love. And we would love all of our camp families to think about this theme, to focus on it, and to think about how these themes relate to you and how that's helped you manage through this pandemic. A virtual camp isn't going to be the same. It's not going to be as close or supportive, or as warm as if we're all participating together. But it can be really great if we all work together. And if you have ideas to bring to the camp, <clears throat> let the board know and we can come together and make this week at the end of the summer 
um, as close to as supportive and as warm as we can make it because this is precious to us. Yeah. Thank you, David. And thank you, Lindsay and Jesse, for um, sharing the information, sharing the, the decision of the board with our camp community. Um, you need to know that our whole board is disappointed that we're at this point, but we're also confident that this is the right decision for our community. And honestly, we're a little bit relieved, right? We've, the last few months, we've been dealing with all of the uncertainty, you know, the information that it comes up and uh, we're happy to have a decision that will allow us to move on and apply our energy and our creativity to creating a, a special online virtual camp. So we hope we, you will join us at the end of August. Uh, keep your eyes open for emails, more information will come. As D David encouraged, please share your ideas. And if you would like to uh, play a leadership role, please volunteer when the, when the requests come out. And so with that, I'd just like to uh, wish you all a, a good evening, a good day, or whenever you're viewing this. Take care, folks.